What's up, folks? Welcome back to another 3D Hangouts. This week, we are taking a look at the Noodle Constant Current Driver Board again, this time in a project. Necromancer TV series on Apple TV. The award-winning science fiction novel by William Gibson. Ah. So, now I know. Good background. You quickly came up with this multicolor 3D print. This is great. Like, for making signs and stuff, it, it, it'd be a bit of a challenge with a single extruder, but now that we have multi material capable printer you're able to adjust how much power you're feeding it so you can see there how it is uh getting a little brighter if you have multiple uh nudes in there you can adjust how much current yeah the tools that are built into the bamboo slicer are so excellent so you're using the paint bucket tool or the fill yeah. bucket you can assign color and then just drop it on the b on the a and the r case that's enclosing yeah. the noodle driver and then we just have these tabs that get fastened and you can kind of see the screw mounts here on the base check out our 3d model it has all the components if you want to take a look at the eagle cat schematic bring that into your open source kai cat or whatever you like we got a step file, you can bring that into your open source CAD, free CAD. This is a reimagined USB key set as a MIDI controller in progress. Keys that have a lever mechanism, and they are actuating chalk key switches that are inside the case. So you can uh, play some MIDI notes, what MIDI CC or MIDI note you want to assign. So I think that'll be a really cool project. Uh, so I got a multicolor part. So it's using all four colors in the Bamboo Labs AMS. Snap fit bracket, you'll notice that the KD2040 does not have any mounting holes. So how do you secure it to a 3D print? Well, you create these little tabs with Liz Clark. And I think what we're gonna do is Circuit Python Day. We wanna do a special live stream on where we live code, vibe code this <laughs> with Claude. Yeah, is everybody using their iPad to model using either Shaper or uh, Nomad, and I think we're a little bit late to the game on this one too. A lot of like the really cool, flexible, uh, organic looking models are all done in like Nomad. So we wanted to head first, dove right in, and just design something that we're going to put into the shop. Bye, See you next week.